Welcome to Lisa Marmoner. I'm not nude. I'm not even supposed to be painting. I was just working out and I was going to clean up my paints and I was like, well, they've been sitting around for a few days for my last two videos. Maybe I'll just do something real quick. And I was like, no, because I'm still wearing like my running shoes, which I'm not supposed to paint in. Like, I'm just, you know what I mean? But like, whatever. What if it's like the best thing in the world that I got to video it? So I have a bunch of the colors that I have done for my last two videos, which is the color challenge video and the comparing pigments to two paints video. So I'm thinking just to like use them up, I'm kind of bored of just doing blooms, you know. Um, I was thinking of using a Prussian blue and making like a fake pillow with my Prussian blue. But on top of the Prussian blue, putting, doing like a split piggy pillow over the Prussian blue. So like on one, corner doing uh twinkle which is like a violet blue interference and in the other corner what well, i have up maybe just shimmer which is like a pearlescent thing so you'll just see the colors popping through the blue and then maybe what i'll do just like super simply because i don't want it to compete with the sparkly background is i was gonna do just like a little thin swipe maybe with some colors is that boring? I don't know. Or do I want to do a bloom vine? But like, we've seen all the bloom vines I've done. It's so hard to keep it like, not boring. You know what I mean? I don't know. All right, Let, let's just do it. And hope that I don't get painted. Okay. I got my 10 inch board here. I have my Glidden Essentials eggshell. I'm still very annoyed about my lighting situation. I'm gonna get it fixed soon. So this is just my natural light from, oh, that was a blue, from my ceiling. So it's not like ideal, cause it looks good to me, but sometimes on a camera, you can't really see, you know, that was a big loop everywhere. Um, doesn't look the same, you know what I mean? Okay. So, let's see what we're dealing with here. I did see a bit of, bluebirds everywhere so let's just go like this now because we're doing a colored background i d don't necessarily want to have to spin it out too much and stretch it you know what i mean i want a fairly thinner situation definitely want to get those gross lumpies out hold on now if i were organized I would have a skewer, which I do not. Although, do I? No. Oh, I do. It's covered in paint, of course. So, again, not very organized. I will take an old... Nope. Nope. I'm not taking anything. Okay. Pretend that there's no boogers in my paint. Okay? Let's just do that. It's probably easier at this point. Now, Lisa Marvin... What are you doing? Um, I am probably going to swipe because I still have my cold, actually. I don't want to be blowing everywhere, you know? Um, so to do this, I am taking my Prussian Blue. Now, I can actually, since it's going to be a pillow, I can actually thin this out. It doesn't have to be as thick because it's not a layer in my Bloom situation. So I'm gonna take my Josonia and thin it out just a bit. I don't want it watery, but also I want it to be able to flow nicely, you know what I mean? And my paints, because they're a couple days old and they've been sitting around, they have thickened up a bit. So I just added a bit of Josonia. I have a whole consistency video, by the way, if you wanna see. So see, that's actually, this is what I would actually use for a bloom. It's not bad. Um, I'll just leave it this way. Okay. So let us now remember, cause we're spinning or tilting or whatever. I don't need to cover the whole thing. I would say <clears throat> maybe three quarters. I'll start in the middle actually. And we'll do a circle outwards, you know, probably should have thinned it a touch more. So I had a bigger space, but I think we will be okay. And if not, we still won't panic because we'll fix it somehow and pretend we did it on purpose. 
which sometimes works, sometimes does not work. We should be okay though, actually. This pillow that I use actually does stretch quite a bit. So we'll see. Okay, look at all those boobles coming to play because I just mixed her up real good. Boobles, yes. No one wants you. Okay, so let's discuss. Um, this is TLP Twinkle. Um, also gonna thin her out a bit. And I'm just gonna do like half scenes or you know what? I'm gonna do like a little swipe this way. I'm gonna go like, I usually go diagonal. I'm gonna go straight down because I'm a crazy girl today. You know, feeling crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go half down of Twinkle. Twinkle, no, I'm not gonna sing to you. <laughs> Not today, you're not that lucky. Now you're like, uh-oh, where's that blue? Don't you worry. We'll figure it out. Was this even twinkle? Possibly, we'll see in a moment when we stretch her. Because I also have this, which is really thick, which is simplicity. Will be the other side. Now you're saying, uh-oh, Lisa, look at all those air bubbles. And I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you because I'm like, oh, those are gross. So normally you wouldn't be um, vigorously mixing as I am and not really thinking about and making those weird bubbles, which are unattractive. So let's see how unattractive they are. You know what I mean? All right, this is simplicity. This will definitely be enough, by the way, for us to play with. So you're not gonna tell right away, but you'll, you will be able to tell um, when we tilt it in certain lights. Okay, is this the ugliest disaster? We don't know yet, guys, just bear with me. This could be a funny, ugly disaster, uh, but you know, don't judge. Okay. Let's get those boobles out again. So, like, let's pretend I'm like, oh yes, those are like cool cells we're looking for, right? Even though they're not, but don't tell anybody. All right. So, it's like, I don't know what it is yet, don't worry. All right, now let's talk about colors. So we have this weird looking background, okay? Cool. Now, let's, I'm, I keep tripping over my painting, so just hold on, it's supposed to be there. Okay, I'm feeling some, definitely, I have this um, enchantment, TLP enchantment, okay. Um, I have, this is a custom purple I made a few videos ago, which is very dark and smoky, which I have to thin out a bit but kind of nice. Don't remember how I made it, but it's in that video. Okay, we're gonna thin her down. So, I have two purples. Do I want anything else? Like, what am I, what's my goal here? You know? Um, I th and I think I'll top it with some Titan Buff, which comes with Titan, this is Titanium Buff Light. So it, it looks um, like a tan color, but it comes off as white, but it's kind of warmer than a Titanium White. So, okay, I'm getting the picture here. So because I have pigments, I do wanna lay a tube down first. So I'm just thinking, what tube? I'm just gonna go plain, like, you know, let's not go crazy. If I had a really light purple, I would probably use it, but I don't. I have, and it's pretty similar. All right, let's go, just go plain, right? Let's go smoky perps, okay? And I'm just gonna go like straight down, because we don't care. Okay, we got smoky perps, okay? We got buble, we got enchantment, is this crazy? 
most definitely. I'm only gonna do a bit of this because it's opaque. And I'm gonna put my style activator, which is Payne's Gray, on the back. My palette knife. I kind of like, there's like weird things happening. I don't know, I'm not judging yet. So I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm going to do something. So my cell activator is the Shelly Art recipe, by the way, you should take the class if you haven't taken it. Got a discount, you get recipes from all around the world. You get help, amazing group. Okay, ready, bloop. Okay, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of boring. This isn't gonna show anyways, but just kind of getting a feel for what we're seeing here. Uh, kind of hectic and boring maybe. Let's see. I actually like these, these three colors together. This could be a waste of time, but that's fine. We don't care, right? We like <laughs> wasting our time. Okay, next. I'm just dragging, figuring stuff out. Those are cute little cells there. That is a cute area, all right? I don't like this area, but I like that area I just did. We don't know where it's going yet, but. I don't know yet. I think I wanna redo this even though, even though, you know? So I'm just gonna like re-swipe it or, hmm, I'll re-swipe it. Your choice is you can put a little paint. You know what, maybe I'll put a little more paint. So I put that and I'm just gonna put a little more um, enchantment just for funsies. Is this even anything interesting? I don't know. Could be. Like, I could be interested in this. All right, I'm just gonna fix, I'm just gonna make some like squigglies. You know what I mean? <sighs> I almost, I don't know what I'm doing yet. But, so I'm gonna obviously have to stretch this out. I'm gonna get some boobles out here. Um, we like the boobles today. I don't know, is this what, I actually really like this little strip. Okay, so instead of spinning right now, I'm going to stretch her back and forth a little bit. Okay, just to get this thicker, if I can, a little bit, because, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Possibly. Like, I don't know what it is, but like the background's very tie-dye-ish, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, those air bubbles don't bug me so much anymore. It's kind of trippy, everything that's happening here. So I'm just, and I'm gonna get, keep bringing it back to the middle because I don't want to distort the middle too much, but it's kind of cool, right? I don't know. It's, I really like this top part here. So hold on. Let me just get the corner off carefully, this corner, and then we will, yeah, okay. Then, because I don't want to lose too much of the 
cool top part that I like. So I'll stand over. It's kind of psychedelic y, you know? Kind of cool. Um, so let me spin a little bit. Right now, I don't enjoy what's happened, how much these corners are coming up. Uh, so see, sometimes air bubbles, I mean, don't ever do what I did, but I'm glad anyways, that the air bubbles didn't like mellow my vibe because we're so psychedelic right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I really, I think these shapes are super interesting and like, I don't know. You're probably like, oh, this is so ugly, right? Am I crazy? Am I just like, is my cold like getting to me? I don't know. One part that's bothering me is, because I dropped a bit of paint right here, which is, oh, it's like a blue. All right. Um, I don't know. Am I nuts for thinking this is cool? And that's why I like putting piggies over these paints because they stretch out really cool. You know? So what effect is this called? This is like a really cool effect. Um, I'm gonna call it like, on oh, the sparkle is awesome. I'm gonna call it like shadow, I don't know, what is it? Maybe you guys will help me out. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys thought it was kind of cool at least. Like, it is really like a tie-dye looking background, right? Maybe I'll still play with it some more. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know, is this really weird? I keep questioning myself because there's parts of it that are so cool. Maybe I'll try another one. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to bring you to the light so you can see the sparkle. Have a good day. Bye.